Hey, guys, I have to tell you, have you tried Zoa Energy? Zoa Energy, it's a it's the better for you energy. It's uh, got great taste. It has electrolytes, B and C vitamins, and zero sugar. Little known fact, Zoa is owned by none other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, it's made with caffeine from green tea, green coffee, and it provides a balanced energy with no crash. Plus, there's like a ton of really good flavors. Tropical punch, wild orange, strawberry, watermelon. And now you know what I'm sipping on. None other than frosted grape. My personal favorite, because I've only just tried one and it actually is pretty dang good, cherry limeade. Available on Amazon and at a store near you like 7-Eleven, Costco, and more. For more, go to ZoaEnergy.com. That's Z-O-A energy.com. Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important bottom line critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important? Because they look down and they see Blake Anderson on this rooftop and, and his chubby little friend oily and glistening his body up with oils. I used to be notorious for IKEA boners. <laughs> Kyle is Jabba. Adam's R2D2. Star Wars Jabba the Hutt porn video is comes up very easily. Do not look at this. Buckle up. <laughs> Who's that girl? Oh, Give me a hell yeah. Na 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 na. Who's that girl? Eve. Ooh, do, do, yeah. do. We, that's, we're not going to give Eve flowers, but she's still the best. Never. Who? Oh, God, I love Eve. Is that Eve? Is that She's the one with the little... Did you steal my apple juice? A little uh, tiger prints on her titties, right? Uh, tiger Good. claws? Or paws. They're paws. That, They're like the paw claws. Yeah. Well, no, a tiger print is the print of a tiger, like the stripes. Right? Oh, okay. I can see where that is confusing. Yeah. I think a print is a, like a footprint. Like a. Oh, that's interesting. Because most people say, like. <laughs> okay. Like a paw, a paw print. Animal print. Yeah. Yes, it is a paw print. Yes. yes. Well, would you call a tiger's print or is tiger stripes in a leopard's? Print. Well, I thought we were talking Eve, dude. We're, suddenly we get we dive. I think I mean, we're talking deep into like the intricacies of. I was talking titty tats, titty tats. But this is interesting. Maybe the best titty tats in the game. I can't think of a lot mm. of other titty tats. Um, just off the top of my head. Oh, what about um, fuck Birdman? Who's the white basketball player? <laughs> Anderson. Well, Birdman, uh, Chris was Anderson. My uncle, yeah. Was Chris Anderson, yeah. Chris Anderson. He's got some pretty yeah. good titty. There's a lot of white basketball. Well, there's a handful of white basketball players, but. But I'm saying yeah. specifically <laughs> his titty tattoos, I'm sure. What were his? Well, he had the whole throat that said free bird and then just went down below. And you, you got to wonder. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it. Mm. there was just like an eagle's wings wrapped around his nipples or something. Well, Rihanna, mm. Rihanna's got the like whole Egyptian under boob thing. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I feel right? like so I feel like Eve started the titty tat movement and then yeah, Rihanna absolutely. finished yeah. it. She was like, right. and I see your titty tats and yeah. I one up you <laughs> with an under boob the, tat because that's the best. This. She's like, I've been everywhere, man. This is the best tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's. Cut. Uh, the under boob is such a that's a, what a prime prime real estate because when you see it you're like I'm mm. not supposed to see this the under boob tat oh for sure I'm not supposed to see that right is there any dudes with under boob tats I feel like that's a pretty strong move let's bring dude under boob tats uh, I think you yeah I think you have to have an under boob mm -hmm. yeah and for most sure. dudes don't I feel but the under boob tattoo it's usually like. It's like it's you can see it in a bikini, right? It's not like literally under like a large breast that if you lift it up, it's like a nah. <laughs> it's like a person holding their finger to their lips, like shh. Oh. You're not supposed to see. No, that's tight. I love tattoos that play off the parts of your body, like when people make their belly button like a dude like right. showing his butthole and stuff. That right. shit I love. That's yeah. that's what you love. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That is what I I could see that for you. Or, I do think if there's like someone has like an under boob tattoo that says like lucky you, you know, like mm -hmm. if they're rocking back, mm. like, you know, 
Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. If you've if you've tied my titties behind my neck, <laughs> you're in luck, baby. <laughs> but by the way, if you're a woman and, and doing that, that is perfectly fine. But also, like, absolutely, your priorities are fucking. You're you're a fun person. You're like we're doing this. Yeah, you're cool. You're cool. Yeah. Fuck it. You first. Sure- when I transition, first thing I'm doing. You you are you're thinking about it. Getting under boob tats. No, no. When I do. Yeah, when you uh, do. Yeah, I'm not thinking about it right now. Oh. Uh, I have a, I have a, a, a huge. Uh, You've always thought about it. I have a full slate of, um, of things. things to do today. But like yeah. when I transition. Yeah. First. Chipotle. <laughs> the second thing I'm going to do is first thing is Chipotle. Second thing is under boob tats, then breast implants. Absolutely, um, dude. I could see you. I could see you transitioning and and then finally being like a nationally nice. ranked swimmer. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could definitely I could definitely get back in the game. If you today mm-hmm. became uh-huh. a woman, suddenly mm-hmm. you could do it overnight. Right. Uh would tomorrow you be an elite because I know like you run and stuff and you like, could you be an elite athlete or no? Let's set the table here. Let's say okay. this. Um, let's set the table. Okay. If I trained for, let's say six months. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you need six months of training. Yeah. Six okay. months of training just because I'm 42 now. Yeah. Holy smokes. It's been a while, but if I get back in there. Well, are you, is it your age group? Because I'm so maybe it's your age group. Oh, no. I'm saying like elite, like. Like just period. Olympics. Col- like, yeah. Oh, so shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah. If I could, if I could get down to like a 21, 22, like I'm valuable on a team. I'm not winning on NCAAs. And what is that? Like waist size or what? What is a 21, 22? No, no, sorry. That's like in the 53, 21 seconds. Like, I think. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I don't think anyone's broken 21 on the on the female side for yards. Um, I definitely could not hang with any of these women now in the 200. They're fucking throwing down. The Katie uh, Ledeckis of the world. Is that an American? The Sandpiper Aquatic Team has five <laughs> youngsters that are just Yikes. kicking ass right now. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And shout out to Nevada. And you can name all the children's names. Do you have them off the top? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. But these children, they're swimming like damn women now. <laughs> they do have like four teenagers that are like the best swimmers in the country now or close to it. It's science. It's the talkies, man. And uh, I know these are children, so these are grown children. So these aren't the babies that Kyle may or may not be eating uh, since he's no, since he isn't on the pod. <laughs> no, he would chew them up and spit them out. They're not good for him. Yeah, no, these are. Yeah, they're not. They're too old. They're too right, old these, for Kyle these to be are eating. Developed. Um, but yeah, I think I, I think I could. But then you you get on the um, what is it, the estrogen or whatever, and then you do mm. lose muscle mass. So. Mm. At, at one point, I would just become you do a, a flabby old woman, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but oh, I'd, yeah. But I'd be yeah. myself at least, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's so easy to do now. It's cool. I wouldn't. Yeah, you can really just up and decide, and then you know, flip a switch, baby. Yeah, uh, grandma. Is that what you call my dick? I feel like I couldn't. I wouldn't uh, be any better. They'd be like, "Yeah, you're also not very athletic as a woman." Mm-hmm. But what you know. would you? What would your sport be? Well, no. Since uh, since I've had two hip surgeries this year, I would have said like hacky sack. Like I feel like I could be pretty elite in mm-hmm. a in a hacky sack setting. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah. now the these hips these hips they don't lie, they do not lie. I, I think hacky sack might be one of the sports where men don't have an outstanding advantage. Um, yeah. Dude, Adam, I know what you could be really good at. What's that? What if what if you did the like ultimate sucking his dick? Blake. <laughs> the ultimate slap. The slap competition. Oh yeah, dude. That's all core. <laughs> oh, if sure. And if I go uh the female female round. Yes. But dude, I don't know, dude. I you've right. seen some of these some of these chicks. Yeah, some of those those ladies. Yeah. Smack the fuck out of each other. Right. Like my dream, I've said a million times, my dream body is a female. <laughs> I thought you say it was my dream is to slap women without yeah. repercussions. <laughs> slap women legally. Yeah. No, my dream all, body <laughs> is uh that's the perfect edit. That's what they're gonna use to cancel me <laughs> with. <Yeah>. My dream <laughs> is to slap women legally. 
Uh, <laughs> no, my dream is to have a female CrossFitter's body. Sure, yes. Because, the, the, I mean, the ultimate bot. They're yeah. underneath you? Um, yeah. The, I, what about the... the uh, I feel like you'd be really good at the... The new fighting thing you see on the internet where like two people are just chained to a table, like one hand is on the table. Yeah. Mm. The, and then you just have to like fight the other person with the other hand. Yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple forms of like. Yeah, I feel like I could be okay. I could take hits. I know I could just get beaten to death and still keep coming <laughs> back. I, I, yeah. I learned that at a young age that I could take. Right. I could take some smacks. Yeah. This is going to be an episode of mostly about your childhood, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I know I could just continuously get hit in the head and uh, be a okay. What is up with those like new fighting competitions? Like I saw one where you're both in like a phone booth. Then yeah. they have one where you fight well, in a car. It's mm -hmm. like, dude, you know what it is? You remember the movie Idiocracy and how mm -hmm. the end of the world and we're all just fucking total morons. Mm -hmm. That's so dumb. That's where we're at. We yeah, are 15 really... years away from literally dude. not ha not watering the plants and just uh, putting Gatorade on everything. <laughs> Much like the movie, like I, I don't, I don't want to sound old, but like these, the smartphones have killed us. Old. They've killed us. <laughs> You're a stupid. They've just ass. killed us. Like the reason we watch that is because if you see like a boxing highlight, you might click on it. If you see two people fighting in a phone booth. You're watching it. So they're just looking for the most yeah. ridiculous shit that you're going to click on and keep clicking. And oh, yeah, dude. Well, the, by the way, I'm watch. I'm watching it. I know you can't look away. Well, you got to you got to at least watch a, a clip. It's hard not to watch. Like, remember when we would watch the I think it was in the workaholics writing writers room where they would Porno? have like the group fights, like Porno. where the UFC teams yes. would fight each other. Yes. It'd be like the firemen of New York versus like Polish bear wrestlers. Yeah. And then as soon as one guy on the other team gets knocked out, that means the other team has an, an advantage. Yes. So by the end of the fight, it's four dudes just beating the fucking shit out of a fireman. Yeah. It was uh, awesome. It was, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Because yeah, there's I mean, strategy to it. You're like, do we just go two on one right off the bat after this guy? I stand by that it we are at the end of the world, but like, okay, <laughs> it's very entertaining. Like the end of the world, we figured right. we've we've sort of just. But that's the whole point: is that we're we're entertained while everything else atrophies. Yeah, we've distilled everything down to just like what do people actually want to see? Like mm -hmm. the algorithm has figured out mm -hmm. what people actually want to see. They don't want to see it. AI grandmas in bikinis. Yes, and people fighting in phone booths. <laughs> Oh, dude, the grandmas in bikinis. Who sent that? Was that you? Did you send that, Durst? Yeah, Durst sent that. I think it was me. Durst. Yeah. Yeah. You know who sent it to me? Al. Al Go Rhythm. Borland? Okay. <laughs> nice, dude. Hey, guess what? Uh, no. Yes, please! See, I th this is why Durst wins all the points, because <laughs> it's just silly wordplay. When it's that's what points is. Well, that's kind of what at midnight was. It was like it, it it's was, not. It's jokes. It it's puns. It's for saying a funny thing. Is it puns? Was it all puns? I I think points usually goes towards cleverness because when we say funny mm. things, we just laugh. Yeah. Points is like a sadder like, and even in the yeah. writers' room when you would say something bad that was kind of clever, you're like mm, points, points, <laughs> but you didn't laugh at it. We I'm not funny. <laughs> yeah, I think you are. What I do is I say things that kind of rhyme and have double yeah. entendres. And yeah. Your brain works faster than Adam and I's really stupid brains. <laughs> <laughs> Our dumb brains. We're just Sorry. waiting for uh, the uh, phone booth <laughs> fighting to start. That's, yeah. and that's all we're waiting for. <laughs> we're like, is the phone booth fighting about to start? Adam's Adam's big smart plan for his future is to become a woman and enter stock <laughs> competitions. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, AI, go back to AI grandmas, please. Okay, Jesus, Durs. AI grandmas, AI grandmas. Hold up. Because it's insane. What about them? It, to me, it just makes me want to reach for a Zoa energy drink. <laughs> Crack open a Zoa. If I'm going to make it through the entire, what do you call it, scroll, like someone's feed, if I'm going to take it, make it through the entire AI grandma in bikini feed, I need a Zoa energy hey. drink. Mm. Caffeine from green coffee and green tea. Mm. I did not know that green coffee was a thing. No. What is that? Does that mean the beans are just <clears throat> a little raw, a little not ripe yet? Diarrhea. 
<laughs> I had some green coffee the other day after some Taco Bell, but no points. That's something else. <laughs> Diarrhea. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. No, but these are good. Zoa. Yeah. Zoa. Thank you, Zoa. Watery diary. We represent. Adding, adding to the end of the world. Sure. Let's talk about it. Ish. There's two, two things that have come to my attention. When I'm watching fucking football on the weekends and they play these commercials where they're like, all right, let's go Niners. Hey, did you uh, want to take a picture of your daughter and she's just in front of like your living room? Guess what? You can put her out on like a farm with a unicorn and like all this shit. And I'm like, we're actively just deleting our true existence and adding what we think is better to our surroundings and then sending that out there. And then also the one where it's like, was no one looking at the photo the right way? Well, you can swipe through and like pick how you want people to look in the picture, even though that moment never happened. You oh, can yeah. create new moments. And I'm like, they think this is like convenience for us to be like, great, now we have a better photo. But it's the beginning of the end of reality. Well, but it's also just about uh, fooling people on dating apps so they actually have to meet you in person. And then once you're yeah. actually there in front of the person, they're like, oh, fuck it. I'll hang out with the person. And then and then they're like, well, you don't have like two cute dimples and your teeth <laughs> are not like perfect and nice. Right. Like you need another four inches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> That's the only thing that you add is four inches, dude. <laughs> um, I don't like you guys telling me to yeah, show everyone's like you have one dimple yeah, and and you have a slight gap what, yeah. get the fuck out of here what the fuck get out of here um, no but I think that like they're introducing this stuff in like fun convenient ways that make us go hey honey look I put you on a farm with a unicorn and your kids love it but then they yeah. grow up in the world going yeah I guess I'm not good enough Um, and neither is our home or our surroundings and our reality so let's Let's just create everything to be what we want it to be and nothing's real and reality is not good enough. And I know I'm like blowing this out of proportion, but it's real. <laughs> Old man. It's real. It's real. Yeah. That's <laughs> the end of the world as we know it. Well. And I feel fine. You need another four you know, inches. Maybe I don't need another four inches. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> four inches is fine. Maybe four <laughs> inches is fine. <laughs> Uh, that shit's important. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, um, I was walking through IKEA the other day because I just nice kind of kind of love it there. And they were like setting up these. <laughs> you got lost. You know how like every section is just kind of you're, you're looking in another room that could be your house. This could be the room of your home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, do you ever be like, man, I wish like I could like totally jerk off in here. <laughs> yeah. Do oh, I get boners. When yeah. Or like, or you're with your girl and you're like. We could fuck right now, I bet. <laughs> I used to be notorious for Ikea boners. Yeah. When I would walk in, I don't know if it was like the what? nesting pheromones or whatever, mm. but I would walk in and Maybe be like... Maybe it was the college, like you're reminded of your college years because that's where all your furniture came from. And you're like... Yeah. Hey, it's a good theory. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Could be. I'm going to stick with the f nesting pheromones. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out why my boy is getting mm. boners in Ikea. Yeah, but no, that's that's correct. It's like we've talked about this, like how like <laughs> when I'm on a plane and it's a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this before. Right. I got yeah, my my dick. gets rock hard. Right. Or if like I'm in a car and it's a you little look jiggly, I'm like, <laughs> my, my dick's going, hey, what's good? You good? <laughs> I used if, to get boners getting off of airplanes. Like as soon as it was like time to get up and off an airplane, I had to be like. <laughs> quick tuck or like you know the just <laughs> hips hips back a little cock back yeah a little cock back a little quick quick adjust yeah sure. and that doesn't really change. happen anymore i can't when was the last boner i had <laughs> honestly pull it out right now <laughs> not pull it out but pull pull the memory from your your bank right now can you remember sure is that what you meant the last boner you had you, there's no there's no morning boners for you guys anymore no, of course, of course there is. Yeah, was, okay, okay. I was JKing okay. out loud. Of co oh, of course. Are you kidding me? Of course. Every morning is like clockwork. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And if there's not, I go on AIGrandmaBikinis.com and... <laughs> the best part of waking <laughs> up is <laughs> AI Grandma's bikinis. Yeah, man, that's how... <laughs> um, wait, but also, another thing where I was like, fucking, this, it's over... 
Uh, I bought a pair of shoes the other day, found them nice. on like deep discount, was never going to get Oof. these and was like, oh, okay. 50% off, finally going to pull the trigger. Pulled the trigger. Congrats. Got an email. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I waited for like a year. Um, okay. So I was wow. a good boy. I deserved them. Wow. Yeah, Got an did. email today that was like, we actually don't have those in stock. So you're what? getting a refund and 10% off. Because it, I was like, this is too good to be true. And it was. Uh, and then at the bottom of a thing, it was like, this email was assisted by AI. And I'm like, this isn't even from like a person. This is. <laughs> what? I'm pissed now. I feel like those like, it's not in stock. I never expected them to be like a guy. No, but it was, it's, it's written like as a person. Like maybe in like 1996, it's a guy, but like nowadays it's. I figured it was just automated, like, it's not in stock. We send this thing that says, hey, Anders, so sorry for the inconvenience, blah. And that's fine, but it says, it's like, best regards, JJ. And I'm like, first of all, great name for a Muppet show. Um, but, like, then right bef below that, it's just like, this fulfillment support ticket assisted by AI. And I'm like, don't even say thanks, sincerely, best regards, JJ. Just go, you've been robo-refunded. Then my dick gets hard. Well, why do they even have to? Why do they have to say that? Why do they even have to let you know that it was assisted by AI? I think because it's because it's AI going nana nana boo boo bitch. We're taking over. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. No, I think it's. I think it is like a law. I think they, gotcha, they passed the law saying like you have to know when it's AI and when it isn't. Okay, because but we haven't told the listeners that we're. Yeah, Kyle was AI. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the Kyle, his battery ran out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had to return that full. Dang, the battery was going out so often during uh, tour. <laughs> like, yeah. Seeing all the tour photos now, now that we're uh, back in studio. Yeah, um, baby. Our, our, spare, our spare bedrooms. You think a real Kyle could break dance? Uh, and then you see... We wound that motherfucker up. <laughs> you see Kyle just sitting on, like, the ends of the chairs, the tops of the chairs, <laughs> sitting on the floor for some reason, sitting Indian-style in the chair, fully reclined in the chair. <laughs> Fucking producers are backstage just programming shit. Like, hey, what would Kyle do? Okay, we entered into the algorithm. He would sit cross-legged up on the... Yeah. I got to find the picture. Oh, uh, funny, funny sit. Oh, he was running around. He for sure would be sweating and almost have a heart attack. He takes off one <laughs> sock. <laughs> dude, lift up that skin. There's a goddamn mainframe. It's Terminator Salvation. Yeah, dude, pick up you, one of them titties. <laughs> you could get titties under that. <laughs> there's, a, there's a secret that, message. Happy birthday to Kyle, by the way. He did yeah. turn... Uh, Turn he turned 40. four four zero. Oh. He's been saying he's been forty since he was thirty six. Mm -hmm. So literally, yeah. he turned thirty six. He's like happy fortieth, and you're like, weren't you, dude? 40? You're like you're like three years or three months younger than me, right? Like you're not forty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, we be, we are, and I'm like, we're not. <laughs> we're thirty six. That's when we found out there's a glitch in the matrix. Dude was programmed. I wonder if he's he pumped. Was. I wonder what his first day of forty um, is feeling like. Well, if I, I mean, I'm, I don't know, because we're, he's not on the podcast. He could oh, be eating babies. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not sure exactly he's what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He could be slurping, <laughs> swiping AI grandmas. He could be a, as a liberal elite working on a big time Hollywood production. What we do yeah. in the shadows, it's possible he's eating babies. We don't know because he's not. That's what he's doing in the shadows. Because he's not on the podcast. Saw. See ya. I wish he was. So, so we could tell if he was eating babies or not. Yeah. Too bad. I hope yeah. he comes back to us. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We Got to get him back from the the repair shop. Do we? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're we're crushing it, dude. Yeah, crush groove. Maybe we add a new fourth member. Who would be the best new member of the pod if we could get anybody? No, I think I think we just keep it three. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, Trump. What we what we would do is we would add. I feel like Trump would be a good time. It can also be cool if we had Trump as our fourth. <laughs> if we had Donald Trump as a fourth and he was here yeah. every week, not Junior. No. No, yeah. Junior's funny. No, no, dude. It's either Donald. <laughs> Dude's got jokes. It's either Donald Trump or yeah. Ted Cruz. 
And then Cru- we only <laughs> you we know only what? asked Ted Cruz oh, about no, how, how fat and ugly his wife is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough, and she is. <laughs> okay, all right. I gotta say, I wish you wouldn't say it that way. I wish you wouldn't say it that way. And I'm like, well, would you endorse me to be the president? Because yeah. that's what you kind of did to Trumpy. You know, how people say like Ted Cruz. They're like, stop being funny. I saw him like tell a joke. This is like months or maybe years ago. And people were like sending it around, like giving him a hard time. And I was like, I think you just hate him. I thought it was kind of funny. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you hate him, fuck him. Yes, for sure. But like, if you just objectively go, it's a guy telling a joke. I was like, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm well, wasn't it like a good joke or was it within a story or he was just like, Hey y'all, knock knock. It was no, it was like a joke joke, right? I think it was a good joke and I thought he delivered it pretty well. And like I think he had like a a voice where he did the I don't know. Oh, I thought it was he's doing voice comedy. No, I, I like it. Okay. All right, Ted. Yeah, no, I yeah. think that now the haircut that he's got Oof. objectively very bizarre. <laughs> I like that we're team Ted Cruz over here. This is- <laughs> like when he shaved the side of his head and was just rocking the mullet, I was like, Oh yeah, he went Skrillex. That shit was hard, dude. I was like, what's on the menu this evening, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Producers, please pull that up because I do not know he did like some <laughs> the Skrillex hair. I did not know he did Skrillex hair, bro. He went full on, uh, like whatever the alt right cool dude haircut uh, was for a minute, where it's just oh, like, he, I guess I didn't catch that. What just like mullet, which I'm like, no. No, he's like where you like keep it kind of like long and swooped over and you like shave under. It was almost like arcade fire for a second. Yeah, and then it got it like was. appropriated, mm-hmm. which is my new favorite word. By like 55 year old <laughs> senators. No, senators. Dude, he's not. <laughs> I don't think he's 55. I think he's like closer to our age than we think. No, dude. Imagine. Imagine Ted Cruz like cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no way. How old is Ted Cruz? <laughs> I feel our producer should be helping us out here. No, sh- <laughs> stop, stop, dude. He's thirty six. <laughs> no he's he's fifty three. He's fifty three. Fifty three. Wow, he looks good. Okay, all right. I, I think he was having like a fucking m- moment. Or he was in a hurry. He's so hot. Why is his wife so fat and ugly? <laughs> okay, what the fuck is this, dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He should have wrote a little TC in it. Dude, hey, okay, by the way, I've never really liked Ted Cruz just because I was like, what a bitch. Like, I can't, like, if if Trump called my wife, like, a fat, <laughs> ugly piece of shit or whatever he said about Ted yeah. Cruz's <laughs> wife, uh, there would be no coming back for me. I would burn my whole career down. Be yeah, like, you got to throw hands. Fuck. I'd be like, fuck this right. guy. I would never endorse him. I'd be like, he is a piece of shit. Vote who you want to vote for. But I yeah. think he's a piece of shit. Yeah. And that's how Trump wins. But now, <laughs> now he has this haircut. It makes me go like, well, he he do, he is kind of cool. Or do you think this haircut? Yeah. It's a total warrior's haircut. Or do you think he got it like after... Trump called his wife like a fat, ugly piece of shit. Uh, and then he was like, I'll show him how cool I am. And then went out <laughs> and went to the how does this fix it? The barber shop and, and was like, yo, give me a cool dude haircut. I have to prove that I'm hip and cool. Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. Maybe that looks like they were shaving his head and then the power went out in in Texas. <laughs> right. Yeah. They were like, hey, dude, uh, you got to get back from your vacation. Your entire state is frozen. He was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> so so for the people that are just listening, the sides are. Sh- Did I tell you about the one about the Jew, the Gentile and the Arabian that went into a bar? Uh, not now. Not now. Not now. <laughs> for the people that are just listening, the sides are shaved here. And mm-hmm. then from the ear down long hair that right. goes down to here i'm gonna come is it like what's the dude's name morgan wallen isn't that yeah. like his steez his haircut yes. yes i feel like it's morgan wallen yeah but he's 30 which is yeah. great or i don't know how old he is but he's probably pretty sure yeah he's he's a younger guy yeah yeah he 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 thought he was serious how old is morgan wallen he's not 53 he's not 53 
<laughs> Will you stop talking to your AI friend, Anders? Oh, shit. <laughs> Convenience got me. Yeah, no, he definitely thought he was pulling up the stagecoach with this mm -hmm. little side fade and was going to get right. some fucking runoff Morgan Wallen Pinocha. <laughs> Pinocha. <laughs> Pinocha. <laughs> it's not uh, happening for you, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Good day. this guy. It's either he went that way, or he told him to give him some fucking Star Wars haircut. Because I know this bro is a Star Wars nerd, dude. To the un. yes, he's deep into it. I think he loves Star Wars and The Simpsons. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Which, does. which, by the way, everyone's like, Ugh. I'm like, doesn't isn't that everyone? Yeah, everybody, everybody kind of likes. <laughs> yeah, I I don't really fuck with Star Wars. This is the way. Um. But I don't either. But like Neither Gen Pop, they're yeah. into it. Unless they want me in Star Wars, I feel like now it's going to be the thing of like, oh yeah, they should just shove yeah. you in R two D two and let <laughs> you roll around. <laughs> right, Adam. Yeah, like, what, dude, Adam, I didn't see you. You're like, yes, you did. Make me the make me the Tin Man. I'll, I'll uh, easy. <laughs> Where's the table I chained myself to? Wait, what kind of You're wars like, is this? <laughs> yeah, hey, Adam, you said you were in Star Wars. I didn't see you. You're like, I'm in every episode, dude. I'm R two D two. I'm R two D two. They just spin me around. Uh, it's all AI. Or I just show up with like a leather skirt and like a chain and a, mm -hmm. a, a, a necklace. Right. I'm chained to a table. They're like, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, it's fine. I'll just be right here. Whatever you, whatever you want to shoot me. It would be cool. You know how like Princess Leia became, I, I, I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Jabba the Hutt's uh, <laughs> like slave girl or whatever. Uh huh. Greatest, yes. of course. Yeah, we all know that. Who could forget? Iconic. Does dude. he? Is he in the shows? And does he still have like other? Ted Cruz makes his wife dresses that. And like, does he just fuck women? Because isn't he an alien? So like, if you're a hot guy, does he stick that tail up up, up you? <laughs> You're talking so, about Jabba the Hutt? And I assume the tail is his hog. So how Jabba the Hutt is actually fucking Princess Leia? Is that the question here? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> can he Jabba my, this is can he Jabba my butt? <laughs> and then also, does he want to fuck men? Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, um, guess what? <laughs> yes, yeah, points. <laughs> why, aren't you, why are you walking so funny? Well, he Jabba my butt. Eh, he Jabba my butt. Wait, I never actually thought of that. You think that yeah. Jabba the Hutt like actually did it with well, Leia? You know what's cool about wasn't that the whole thing? Yeah. Why is she half naked? Yeah. Why did they strip her down? Well, you know, she was like eye candy. She he was like, yeah, but to eye candy, so then he could fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, fucked up. That fuck that movie. Or do you think it was like a car that he's like washing on Sundays, where he's like beautiful, isn't it? Hey, beautiful. I'm not going to fuck it. It's a car. <laughs> I don't know that Jabba the Hutt has genitalia. <laughs> like, I never thought of him in that way. You no, dude. You lift, you lift up. He's a biological creature. You lift up one of those folds, and there's yeah. there's a fucking <laughs> horse cock in there. A hut, a, a hut cock. So you don't think it's the tail? I don't think it's the tail. I believe he has a penis underneath his folds. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the I think Science. the folds have. You think under Jabba the Hutt's titties it are his dicks? I don't think it's his titties. <laughs> he has a, a belly fold that is covering his. Can we bring up photos of Jabba the Hutt? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just look up Jabba the Hutt like porno. I don't know if there's many folds under the belly. I think he's pretty. He's pretty <laughs> lean. I think he's okay. pretty smooth. He's not as blobby as say Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle is Jabba. Adam's R2 D2. <laughs> Star Wars Jabba the Hutt porn video is comes up very easily. Do not look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Well, what's cool about what's cool oh, about the internet is for sure there's someone right, right. there's for sure someone that has <laughs> oh, my as soon God. as the movie yeah. came out, they thought like <laughs> Oh. Yeah, <laughs> where would his dick even be? Uh yeah, yeah we do have a representation where it is his tail for sure. Looking at this photo, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel good. I don't feel great about it, but I feel <laughs> somewhat vindicated. It seems like it's tail. Yeah. And it does sort of look like a penis head at the, the yeah. very end of his tail. So, yeah. So maybe that's not even a tail. Maybe he has these little legs he's sitting on, and then that's just kind of his fucking cock laying to the side. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. No wonder he's such a boss. What if does, can we can somebody listening give Jabba the Hutt Ted Cruz's haircut, please? 
You need another four inches. I need, <laughs> I need a millennial or a Gen Zer who knows Photoshop to uh, make this happen. Oh my God! They say that the huts are gastropods and they reproduce asexually and do not have the correct genitalia for oh sexual God. activities in humans. Oh so, but he likes looking at Leia naked. But he does lick her, they say. They say, uh, you know, he made a forced her to wear revealing clothing, restraining mm -hmm. her, trying to lick her body. All things that Kyle, You're a monster. all things that Kyle Nuichek does um, <laughs> to, to women. Yeah. What are we reading? Kyle's IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> Nua the check. Um, we're, we're we do this as a job. We unpack things like yeah, this. Job I mean, who yes, we do. who is doing this? as like their spare time. Like who's spending their time going, well, it did. Okay, yeah. fair enough. You know, Teddy Cruz. Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted Cruz writes this shit. Trust me. What? It's like what job weird, of the crew? <laughs> what weird like back room, like deep, deep Reddit sub yeah. blog is deep is ted cruz on just creeping you know that guy's just deep internet creeping troll status he's he's a 4chan bro he's, mm -hmm. he's that 4chan guy man mm -hmm. dude i watched uh that show or that movie dumb money that didn't get enough i feel like What's no one that? talked about that movie and everybody was in it uh dumb money mm. Oh yeah, I don't even know what that is. Oh yeah, um, it's it's about the rise of the GameStop sh uh, stock, mm -hmm. and it was uh, yeah, Paul Dano, <laughs> Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen was in it. Paul Dano, uh, Pete Davidson, Shailene Woodley. Like you're like a ton of people that you're like, oh shit. I just thought the premise alone just sounded like just. I'd rather read it as an article. Like, why the fuck would I want to watch a movie about that? <laughs> and did you? Wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> I know. And that that's how bad the premise is. I think I'd rather. Wait, what article? Like, what oh, yeah, articles? The article. <laughs> what articles? <laughs> okay. I just read this one about Jabba the Hutt. Dude, <laughs> I don't look at dude. the pictures. <laughs> I just read one about Jabba the, Jabba the Hutt. No, dude. I read that to you. Okay, <laughs> it's an article that I count as reading this year. Blake's like hearing talking is reading. Does hearing <laughs> reading reading? It's called <laughs> reading aloud popcorn. Okay, reading rainbow. Um, what was it good? What, what, what? it was a good movie. But that, these are your favorite movies, Adam. I, I do like I do like like bio, biography type movies. No, no, no. I'm talking about yes, sir. quick fast money movies. Are your favorite genre? Mm, yeah, get it. In. I don't know if that's my favorite genre. I like genre. <laughs> genre. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite genre. Hi, John Ra. Good to meet you. That's. Not, I don't know if that's my favorite genre. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do love Blow. That is my favorite movie. Yeah. Um but I, I love biographies <laughs> of of all sorts. Get get rich or and most biographies are like. Rising and falling. Yeah, rising and falling. Yeah. Movies. I do like a rising and falling. I want a good biography where they're just falling. Um, I feel like those are out there. Well falling down. The, yeah. the wrestler. <laughs> love yeah, the, the wrestler. Love, love the wrestler. Wrestler's great. But that wasn't a real that wasn't a real person. That I'm just no that. piece of meat. I think I almost cried during the trailer of the wrestler. Yeah, that movie kicks fucking ass. Dude, Iron Claw. I want to see it. People say it's great. I'm very excited. I know I'm going to love it. Uh, my boy, my boy, Zachy Efron, our boy, Zachy mm -hmm. Efron is Thank in it. Uh, Do you love him? Looking the most jacked anyone has ever looked. I'm like, Jesus, this guy like put on 30 pounds of because he was kind of lean. I feel like he got outshined by the Yes Chef. He's buff too. Everyone's talking about his body and his Calvin Klein. Yeah. Well, I think because you know you knew what was underneath the hood for Zach. You knew that yeah. there was some yeah, horsepower yeah. there. Oh yeah. But yeah. Yes Chef. <laughs> oh, I knew. <laughs> I feel like people were like what's underneath the hood. Mm -hmm. I knew. Come on, I knew what was underneath that hood. Well, yeah, because you were like, "That's me. Why am I not a Calvin <laughs> right. Klein model, Blake?" I right. know how your brain works. <laughs> mm -hmm. He did take one photo that I'm like, "Oh, I've taken that photo before," but it's just of him. It's just for it's just for your dude friends. <laughs> yeah, but I've, sent it to <laughs> I've taken that photo of him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Men Blake, mentally, you're not going to get the Calvin Klein ad. Well, you know, <laughs> let's. Bullshit. I right. could. 
You're not. Dude, what if like I'm a really hot 50 year old? No. no. You couldn't get no. The, <laughs> well, go like ahead. A, Robert Klein? I don't know. <laughs> Kevin Klein? No, you're not. I mean, it's not. Okay, that donkey. one's not, you know. Like, we all got to go, like, where I'm at in my and life Klein. and career, where, you know, uh, Calvin Klein probably isn't going to knock on the door. Is there an age limit? Calvin Broadus. You couldn't get the Calvin Broadus app. Uh, by the way, I'm not going to get it either, but uh, I think your body's a little more taut than mine. Uh, uh -huh. But I do think a little you can be an underwear model. Let's talk to our friends over at uh, MeUndies. MeUndies? Sure. And okay. see if... If me undies can do a very, very sexually explicit mm -hmm. photo shoot with you, Blake, and we'll okay. we'll be there. We'll cover you in oils. We're not in the photos. <laughs> We're not in the photos. Okay, okay. It's just you. I'm there on oil duty to make sure my boy's all lathered up. This does seem like a ploy to put oil on Blake. No, it's not a ploy. It's not a ploy. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. I thought I was taking photos with a photographer. Now Dude. I've got. All my um, boys on set spraying me with oil. All he's saying is that there, he needs three hours before the shoot. If there is a, even is a shoot at the end of the day. <laughs> he's got me on a chain like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, I know that you would be uncomfortable with anyone else rubbing your body down with oils. And all mm -hmm. I'm saying is okay. I would be there. And, and by the way, this is my idea mm -hmm. to get. So shouldn't uh. I get the spoils? <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot about it's Adam so and his spoils. <laughs> Adam has to have his spoils no matter Wait. what. Yeah, they, they and we're looking over your contract, Blake, and it says here that Adam gets the Dude, spoils. It was my idea. I set it, I set Dude. it all up. You didn't even ha this wasn't even your dream. I made this happen <laughs> I, for you. This is true. Okay. Should I not get my spoils? Dude, Adam and his spoils on the tour, I can't even get into it. <sighs> <laughs> overwhelming yeah oh, i've never God, seen spoils man. like this in my life <laughs> your boy needs some spoils i want to drop this i put the link in the chat but i want to drop this specific picture i'm not clicking that big ass link <laughs> please click it <laughs> please click it that's just the specific photo i'm talking about <laughs> here's a question that i know we don't know the answer to why mm -hmm. are some links all cute and perfect and you're like mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. click easy mm -hmm. and then so, then you send a link on like an email or a text to somebody and you're mm -hmm. like here click on this link and then it's just like right. like 40 lines down you're like why you can't shorten this link and when you when you're the person who sends that you're so embarrassed yeah you're like oh, i'm an asshole yeah because it's not like clean i think they what do they call them quick links yeah they might probably call them quick links yeah i, ha I, de I have to delete them immediately because i'm so ashamed right Okay, maybe you could... Okay, by the way, it said that it's a redirect notice. You sent us a link. It mm -hmm. doesn't even work, Blake. I didn't even... I, I didn't... <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> and then it says... Okay. Wait a second. It's just that guy's huge dick over the bed. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, no. Okay, the bear star Jeremy Allen White smolders uh -huh. and yes, shirtless sir. Calvin Klein. Uh, yeah, okay. But this specific picture, I feel like this is my vibe, where he's kind of like laying he's down... Pulling <laughs> Potential security issue. I'm not downloading this. Oh, I thought you were saying where he's where he's pulling the underwear down and you see like the top cock. No, 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 no. That's... No, not the top cock. I'm not trying to. Dude, that's. Is it the top cock or his muff? I don't want to show either of those things. No, you're. St you're yeah, you're. You're seeing. You're not even. You're not seeing any hair. So he's. Oh, pubic mound. You're seeing a pubic <laughs> mound. He's really seeing... kept it real tight. Speaking of spoils. <laughs> Which, uh, Blake. As part of my spoils, I'm going to need you to take <laughs> to take this photo on me. I'm going to come. Uh, yeah, Blake, you got to take, we got to go and take a lot of photos of you like this for a MeUndies oh. campaign. Also, we're throwing it out there to whoever knows how to do Photoshop. Do Make just AI this shit for us. Blake yeah. Anderson, Calvin Klein, Pubic Mound. That'd be the, great. Reveal. Yeah, okay. Say Pubic Mound, Ted Cruz haircut. <laughs> <laughs> with Joe with the hot tail. This is another way that AI is taking people's jobs. Yeah, because comedy too. Because there's a, you know, there's a photographer, there's a lighting person, there's a crafty, there's me that's... Don't need them. That's true. There's no oil involved. There's me. 
<laughs> rubbing oil. <laughs> like, there's a lot of people's jobs that you're yeah. kind of just cutting out here with the AI talk. No, I'm so sorry. You're right. Well, that's why you got to write. You got to write your. Sp- <laughs> I got to talk. The, if I talk to talk, I got to walk the walk. You yeah. got to write the spoils into the contract, man. It's huge. Yeah, there's no spoils with AI. And that's one of the reasons that AI sucks. Yeah. I wonder if you typed in, give me a visual representation of spoils to AI. Mm. <laughs> it couldn't it would, do it. It couldn't do it. It's like war games. It would fucking melt down. And what it would be, it would be like food spoiling. Yeah. It'd be like gross. I think so. Mm-hmm. Or like one what I think is spoils. Oh, I don't think gross. <laughs> I don't think gross. It'd be like old food. Old food on the back of a Lamborghini, like con- like providing downward force and also revealing the end of a movie in the license plate name. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. <laughs> I believe so. Blake, like the two links you sent, one was a redirect, and the other, I clicked on it, it says potential security issue yeah. detected. Like, come on. <laughs> I know. Not doing it. Come on, <laughs> homie. <laughs> I'm not just, doing it. Come on, homie. Just click it. This guy was ready to oil you down. <laughs> you don't trust me? By the way, I found I All found right. the photos. I found the photos that I want you to take. And you it's a lot me? of you peeling your underwear off while we're on the roof of a building. Peel one off. I like that. I'm supposed to be shooting an underwear ad, but yeah. Adam <laughs> has them off my body immediately. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that's dude, that's what because because you're you're looking at it as if you're a, a horny girl and Blake okay. Anderson is is uh-huh. is on a rooftop and uh-huh. you're seeing him just toying he's toying with his undies up there and we know it's been established we know chicks we know chicks dude you need another four and they're inches rubbing one out because they look down and they see Blake Anderson on this rooftop and oh and his chubby little friend oily and glistening his body up with oils is that what the guy's on a rooftop doing this yeah he's on a rooftop yeah okay is that allowed <laughs> yeah i think he was har- i think he was harnessed yeah it's allowed it's allowed it's it's calvin klein yeah yeah remember the joke i told in one city where i was like there's three guys on the roof of the sears tower and it was that they've all got their dicks over the edge. <laughs> that was a really good one that's a really good one. You, you Do you think he told that joke on set? I think that was the one Ted Cruz told. <laughs> uh, what was that joke? What was that joke? I don't remember. It's a really good one. It was like, this is like the my like quintessential go-to I'm a 10-year-old joke where it's like, Can't finish. The three, there's three guys with like the longest dicks in the world and they're standing on the roof of the Sears Tower. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> That's us. That's us. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Sorry, let me rephrase it. Y- me and you dudes are on top of the Sears Tower with our dicks yeah, hanging dude. over the edge. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. Yeah, yeah. Blake whips his down. It goes down yep. to oh my God. the 50th floor. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, whoa. It's like 30 stories long. That's a big old cock. That's a big old cock. <laughs> That's really big. You're a monster. Adam yep. steps up, unfurls his junk. It goes down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To the 11th floor. Whoo! <laughs> That's, That's you a guys, bigger cock. 49 floors bigger. You guys look back at me. And then I'm running around, and you're like, what the oh hell boy. are you doing, <laughs> Durs? Because you guys say that. Yep. And uh, I go, me, I'm dodging traffic. Because <laughs> my dick dude. is so long, it goes down to the street. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's so, so fucking cool. And when I was 10 years old, and I told this joke... I was grounded. Yeah. I was the Ted Cruz of the playground. <laughs> yeah, man. dude. Immediately, you, t- you got cruised. Everybody loved me. Damn. You said that at school? You were put, hey, hey, you were put on cruise control. Yeah. I, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I got points coming. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry. But... Yes, dude. points. That's, you said that at school. Did you get in trouble? Well, he's not saying in front of the teacher. Yeah. I didn't stand in front of the class and go, actually, it's my time. Because I remember being at school, and you remember that part in um, Ace yeah. Ventura where he's where like oh, yeah. the he's like pushes the eagle, and the eagle's like, oh, yeah, blow me. Mm-hmm. I said that to my teacher because I didn't know what blow me meant. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah so a, you and Adam both sexual advances towards your 
educators. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Absolutely. Well, I didn't, I didn't um, know any better. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't be in a classroom alone with me. Uh, and how about the first punch that Jim Carrey throws at the Eagle yeah. to like start the combination off? It's like a long, like, C- comes out jab, of nowhere but it comes out of nowhere then he leans in with the fucking follow-up yeah. i always remember being like when you do it do it like that yeah he punched the fuck out of that mascot that's a and what what is this in what what movie end it's of ace ventura, ventura uh pet detective mm-hmm. when he's like sitting there and like a bird like the guy the mascot for the other team the eagles maybe yeah oh. he like bumps he just, into him and uh, says like fuck spoiler off. alert that's he right. just saved um Star- snowflake that's right that yeah. is correct almost said starfish yeah and spoils. he's at the i gotta rewatch. I, that, I feel like that'd be a good i don't know would it be a good rewatch, or would you watch it now and be like this was comedy of a time or would it be like this is a warm cozy blanket and I love, um, I love. The I think there's a, a couple variables in it that it is probably a little dated. Mm-hmm. Also, you know Jim Carrey's tricks now. I would mm-hmm. even go so far as to say you know every fucking moment of that movie. Yeah, my heart, right? Oh, right. But if I, I bet if I played that for my ten year old, he might mm-hmm. lose his mind. I just think oh, the yeah. commitment level of that movie is like Oscar. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I saw it. Speaking of snub, snub again. I love the story of, um, I love the story of <laughs> how he was telling people on in Living Color that he was writing a movie about a pet detective, and everyone was <laughs> and like, like this "That is so dumb." dumb. <laughs> oh yeah, the bitch. <laughs> you are yeah. so dumb. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because what? Because uh, you you are so you dumb. don't know, but you also don't know that he's going to go all the <laughs> to the absolute brink of insanity. Yeah, filming yeah. every scene commitment and leaving nothing on the table i mean the commitment level is is undeniable and it starts off with a bang the whole ups like sequences off the fucking chain you're laughing so hard at a dude with a fucking box walking <laughs> yeah i was just like kicking it down the street what did so i see good. i think my buddy tony cavallero who plays keith on the righteous gemstones just posted today mm-hmm. about uh like a guy walking he was wearing a black trench coat and he was walking like Mm -hmm. like the Jim Carrey head on each side and then he turns around and like does the eyebrow and like whips his head around and is walking but then there's no mention of Jim Carrey it's like this guy's just doing this walk and I'm like there's no he's not saying like Jim Carrey or like Mm -hmm. nothing else about this guy is it was like when you're walking out of I forget exactly what it is, but you're walking out of a restaurant like this or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love that hashtag. And I was a little, I was a little, <laughs> I was a little bit like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on that hashtag a lot. <laughs> hashtag when you're walking out of a restaurant having eaten. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll I'll find it. Yeah, dude. I I but you know what I mean. I was just yes. like, oh, Jim Carrey, like he changed. <laughs> yeah. He got that red. He got that red Robin walk. He changed everything. So basically, a guy rips him off without any homage. Yeah, no, ho- yeah. no homage to it. No homage, and and the fact that uh, that he's just, uh, he's changed the way people walk. Like yeah. I feel like people. <laughs> I know I walked that way. He's changed. Oh, and by the way, I just want to say, having um, watched the Emmys the other day with the like to be remembered a section, Mr. Shicka Dance, we lost uh, him this past year. I missed mm. that part. Who's Mr. Shicka Dance? Ventura. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Dude, my I realized that my wife, it, we like use her old Hulu account as like our Hulu account now. Mm-hmm. Uh, she doesn't pay for premium Hulu, so huh? we couldn't watch. The Emmys, dude. I was so disappointed. I'm like, what do you mean? Because you guys don't watch, you guys don't get like TV. Like you're yeah. not getting your cable through Hulu. Yeah. So right, we, right, right, right. Do, you have to buy the premium Hulu in order to watch right. the live shit. Yeah. And she hadn't done that. And I was mm-hmm. so salty. I'm like, we have to have. You're like, TV <laughs> used to be channels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, totally. I feel like an oh, old wow, man. I'm like, dude. so I can't, there's no way I can watch the Emmys right now. And and she's like, you can watch it in stories tomorrow in entirety. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Just follow along on Twitter. Yeah. It's better that way. 
it's better that way. It's kind of crazy. It it is hard to to um navigate these channels. <laughs> yeah, and uh, shout out to Mister Shickadance. Who's Mister Shickadance uh, again? What, what else was he in? He's the guy who comes up behind him and is like Ventura, and he's like, "Yes, Satan." Oh, yeah, yeah. Mister Shickadance. What else yep. was he in? I want to say he was in like The Godfather or something like that. I want to say he was like in mob movies from back in the day. Imagine you closing my eyes were cast in that movie Mm -hmm. and you do not know Jim Carrey. Right. He's just a comic. You know, he's on In Living Color, but you you didn't catch it. There's no. He did one spitting. It hasn't come out yet. I don't think Mm -hmm. maybe it had. Yeah, Once Bitten was kind of a a nothing movie. You're, yeah. you're you sort of just you have. He was in Earth 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 Girls are easy. Earth Girls are easy. He was in a uh, Clint Eastwood movie as the bad guy. You have no idea oh. who this guy is. Alrighty then. Right? right. Right. And then he shows up and he's doing that. Are you yeah. a little bit like okay? Oh God. What what did I get myself <laughs> into here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you for sure are. Imagine you you're cast in a movie now and then somebody Jim Carrey doesn't exist. And then a young Jim Carrey is doing that. You would be like, you'd call your agent and be like, Hey, I don't know. (laughs) It would be, (laughs) you're like, it's just a check. Yeah. It would be like being cast in like the Fred Figglehorn movie or something like one of those YouTube guys. And you're like, Oh my God, what's happening here? Oh yeah. 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 You don't know. You don't know. You Frank don't know, but and, and Blake just sent a link to the, the to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was Todd. Um, the guy's name is uh Mark Marga- Margolis, and mm-hmm. he was also in Breaking Bad. He was like yes. the dude who had like the oxygen tank, who like did who couldn't talk because he was like, I don't know what I can't remember what happened to him. You did not send me a link through. Like, the like just can't talk with the eyes. I was yeah. like, Shika Dance is killing it right Shika now. Dance. <laughs> and we've we've covered how perfect the casting in Ace Ventura is. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. this guy, yeah, that's right. This guy, he was also in He was in Scarface. <clears throat> yeah. Scarface. That's what I that's what I was thinking of, Godfather. Uh Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad and yeah, Scarface, Rec Room for a Dream. Rec room for a rec dream. Room. Come on <laughs> yeah, here. Dude. Have fun. Rec <laughs> yeah, is, have a dream. <laughs> this is the room for that. It was all about the. Come on, man. It's, it's all about a man cave. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> rec room for the dream. <laughs> It's this man cave where all this dad's friends come over and all their <laughs> dreams come true. <laughs> They're like, dude, he got this new chair in his man cave. That's the show. That's you, the show. Yeah, that's the show. I uh, I read Rec Re- Room for a Dream. Really? <laughs> yep. Rec Room. <laughs> really? That was a really dark, disturbing, yeah, point highly uh, acclaimed movie. Was yeah. it? Huh. <laughs> if that's if that's what you're telling me. Yeah. If that's I guess you took it that way, but huh? I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of a a guys guys movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? For a dream. Really? Um, rec room for a dream. Rec- yeah. <laughs> this dude, yeah, I me mean, and my buddies wrote it together. Rec group for a dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just wrote it together one afternoon. Wow. Yeah. This is what I love about being an actor or or actors' careers mm. is uh-huh. when you Hollywood eating babies. <laughs> when you watch somebody, I have high appreciation. For somebody who's really good in something that might be bad or mm-hmm. really good in something that and you've never seen them before and you're like, where'd they find this guy? And then you just go back 20, 30 years and you go, oh, they were the star of this movie. They were like a regular actor. Yeah, they've they've had a, a career for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Huge career. And I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like I it's always good. I love that shit. Well, that's cool. It's because you like just, you know, it. You kind of, you. Everybody has their lanes that they watch, mm-hmm. and it's like when you go out and you're at a restaurant or something, and then the people always shout, and then like maybe no one recognizes you except for one person is like freaking out because they watched Workaholics or whatever. Right. You know right. that's, and I feel like a lot of actors have that same thing where they're like they were on a show that ran that a certain sect of people loved, mm-hmm. and then right. you know. In the but the gen the gen pop is like ew. <laughs> I like that until the person goes, "You don't know who this is," and then I'm like, "Stop." Ah, uh, that yeah, 
that's the worst. And they're like, it's okay. It's fine. And, Hello, Newman. <laughs> and then they're like, what else have you been in? And you're like on the spot. So you're like, uh, Rec Room for a Dream. Well, rec Room for a Dream. <laughs> uh, rec Room for a Dream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? That's pretty dark, pretty heavy. Highly yeah. acclaimed. I was in, I was yeah. in, <laughs> yeah. this ain't Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else? Who are, who are uh, I was in uh, Spankin's Ghostbusters. <laughs> who are you in, in, Ghost, in Ghostbusters? No, uh, in Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, I was Slimer. <laughs> I was Slimer. Her. I was Slimer. I was I was Slimer. This is so oh, stupid. God. Uh, oh my God. 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 I was uh, <laughs> Peter Yankman. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Too dumb. He gone. <laughs> hey. And this is uh my partner Ray stands over women's and peas. <laughs> Women and peas. I would like to I'd like to thank our sponsor, <laughs> Zoa Energy, for being for giving us the energy to get through this oh. podcast without the crash. Zoa Energy. And this is uh, Winston Gizamore. Uh any uh <laughs> it's that green coffee, baby. Woo. Give uh, me Jacks and Juicy. Any uh, uh take backs, any apologies, any epic slams or giveaways. I'd like to uh, epic slam Kyle for n- yeah. uh having no respect for the podcast. Uh, doesn't yeah. doesn't care about the fans. Mm-hmm. Uh and see I think he despises the fans, in fact. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, yeah, actively hates them. Uh, and he's not here to say that he doesn't. So Yeah. yeah. So you, you epically slammed him. I would like to apologize to our fans for Kyle's behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as yep. we know, he's in Canada eating babies. Eating babies. <laughs> We're not sure exactly. We can't mm-hmm. say he isn't because he is not here on the pod. So Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to apologize once again for thinking Sinbad was dead. That's going to haunt me for the rest yeah. of his life. Yeah. That, no flowers to him. Never. No. No. Nope. Never would. Nope, and no even though pretty mad at Kyle, I'm not going to give him flowers. Yeah. That's big of you. No, that would be crazy. No, that would be, you know. Won't give him flowers about it. Yeah. And we're not going to give him flowers about it. Because I do, I do love, love the guy. Yeah, I wish yeah. I was sharing a Zoa energy with the guy. No, he'd like it. I wish I was slurping down a Zoa. Although he gave up caffeine. So, mm-hmm. hey, the spo- those are the spoils. Free Zoa. <laughs> those are the, some of the spoils of having a podcast. <laughs> spoils. Spoils of the pie. Hey, I'm gonna I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna enjoy my spoils. Zoa energy. Any any take backs, any spoil? I got a spoil right here, baby. Uh by the way, me undies, that's a good idea. And that was another episode of I agree. Episode of This, this is, is Important. important.